This is the final of the black belt adult 85 kilograms. Julio Jr. and Charles Negloronte. Both guys had some good performances so far. Charles showing some great top pressure. And beating both Bradley Hill and Max Lindblad. And Junior Julio. Sorry, Julio Junior. A good performance, solid performance against Igor Souza to make it to this final. Charles, no stranger to winning these events. Won the first King of Mat tournament. Very successful for Betts. That Julio Jr. coming up quickly with a foot sweep. You know, Charles into his passing. Heavy top pressure from Charles. See, he's just trying to prevent the grips of Julio Jr. at the moment. Julio Jr. setting up that pain grips very difficult to break that grip Charles just using a double key pain grip getting caught into the suit for a moment Julio Jr. looking to kind of trip him backwards and Charles just pins that knee to the ground and starts dropping the shoulder can't maintain the angle tries it again Julio Jr. resetting the position Charles doing a good job of just breaking these grips see him trying to drag the leg across the body there mostly what he's looking at doing at the moment. And then he's looking at smashing down the hips. Drops into that cross grip pass. Lazy Dog can't control the collar, but forcing the inversion from Junior Julio. And Charles is going to try to smash the hips down here, I'm sure. Stop, stop, no more. So the referee just checking the grip, making sure there's nothing illegal about it. Not allowed to grab inside the key pants. And Charles using that cross grip, keeping that heavy pressure on that leg as well. Junior Julio escaping his hips pretty well. Charles just sprawling back, separating those legs out, and replacing the position. Junior Julio getting his knee line free momentarily, and then Charles just steps around again trying to get back to that cross grip pass. And there you see him drop into it, separate out the arms. Junior Julio did a good job just posting and using the spider guard against that grip. Pulling Charles into a knee bar, potential 50-50 position. Charles staying heavy on that top. And now trying to come around to the side here. Can't grab the gi pants in the same way as you normally would but just extracts himself from it and then goes straight back to his passing again. See him dragging that leg across. Just continually trying to drag the leg, reach to that collar. And break those grips of Junior, uh, Julio Juno. Junior Julio looks like he's trying to swim his right leg inside. Breaks that grip every time. Stop. Stop. So we're going to restart in the middle. Charles is going to fix his belt. Stop. 
So it looks like one of the gi pants under the trouser legs of Junior Julio, Julio Junior. Apologies. Julio Junior has ripped. Charles clearly has some incredibly strong grips. So I think he gets five minutes now to change his gi pants. And obviously they have to be matching in color as well. This would be the worst way to lose a final by not being able to find this new pair of key pants. Good job of neutralizing the guard, continually passing around, using that cross grip to either drag the leg or go into the cross grip pass. So we still have two finals to come up today. The next one will be Gabriele Pisana versus Yara Soros de Nascimento. Yara actually has a great day's competition and is currently having victories over two of the ladies that competed in the Queen of the Mats. She beat both Natalie de Jesus and Kendall Ryusing. So she's having a, a very good day. I'm sure she's going to look to continue that against Gabriele Pisana. Gabriele Pisana has looked absolutely undefeatable in these events, though, and she looked fantastic in the Queen of Mats event last night. If you missed it, go check it out at ajptour.com. After that, we have the under 129 kilo male black belt final. We have Igor Schneider and Rodrigo Ribeiro. Ribeiro placed second in the Moscow Grand Slam, third in the London Grand Slam at this event last year. Uh, Igor Schneider, this is his first time out in the Grand Slam. So, looks like they've found a replacement gi pants, now just taking the length, making sure it's above board. And we're gonna restart the match, I believe in the same position. So Charles, again, dragging that leg, smashing the hips down. Trying to work past that lasso. Gi pan combination. Breaks that grip. Now trying to smash in. Trying to go to the double under position, also possibly the over under position. Julio Junior, just a little bit too aware. Charles stepping over that leg. Has to be careful. Looks like Julio Junior is setting up a lapel guard here, trying to time into position. Oh, Charles locking into the hips. 
Smash those hips to the side. Brings the knee in front. Julio inverts and recovers the position. Does a great job to avoid that heavy pass attempt. Well, Charles does get an advantage, I believe, for forcing the turtle. Gives a charge to go back to that again. He's grabbing the belt as opposed to the gi pants to try and get that pressure. Again, looks to smash the hip down using his head, using his chest. A nice recovery from Julio. Charles again trying to pass this time. Julio Junior feeds that lapel very, very briefly, but finds himself in an over-under position. Charles has shown a lot of top pressure here, so it's probably not the best position to find him in. And Julio Julia inverting. Charles breaks free of that grip. Souza in his corner really calling for Charles to work. to his passing again. Julio Jr. doing a good job of preventing and shutting down Charles' passing attempts. Now two minutes, 20 seconds to go. Both competitors need to not give up any silly points, making poor grips or Easy sweeps. Charles now again burying his head, reaching over. Julio Jr. trying to pull him into that triangle. Charles just defending, staying heavy on top. Charles actually used this position very effectively in his first match. Trying to turn the corner, it looked like momentarily for the Elmer Platter. Charles breaks that grip, goes back to that leg drag, into the cross grip. Julio Jr. inverts to prevent the pass. Charles trying to bury his chest into there, force him to revert. He needs to watch his balance. Charles very close to just putting Julio Jr. back down. Doesn't get it, kicks his leg free. Pulling on that lapel. Charles setting up that cross grip, drags it across. He's done this numerous times. He uses it to go to a leg drag, and then when the leg drag doesn't work, comes around the corner into this crazy dog pass. Julio Jr. is doing a good job of stopping it. Charles is like switching his hips, back stepping out. Trying to pass, 40 seconds to work. Julio Jr. inverts again. Charles goes back to that pass, drags the leg. Charles trying to shut down the hip. Normally this would be a time where he locks into the hip and that waistband can't as it's against the rules. Finds himself back in the close guard. Needs to be aware of the choke, obviously doesn't want to give up a silly advantage. 10 seconds left. Looks like Charles has accepted they're gonna to go to the golden score. And now have 40 seconds to fix their geese, and then it will be first to score. Golden score, okay?
Right. So here we go with the golden score. Both guys obviously slightly fatigued. Charles shooting in on the double leg. Stands up with it. Now looking at switching. Lifting it high, trying to sweep the foot. Drops Julio Jr. to the ground, stays heavy. Gets the two points and wins. Golden score. It's just how important having a good wrestling technique can be and how it can get you the victory. Great performance by both guys. I'm sure Charles will be happy with that victory. And your winner in the blue corner, Charles Negromonte for the uh, black belts, adult 85 kilograms. Great work from Charles. Yeah, you just see the start of the match. Both competitors coming out, doing a good job. This was that final takedown. Charles really had to work hard for it, though. Just managed to get it in the dying seconds. Even here, Junior Julio wasn't left giving it up. Stayed, kept trying to elevate Charles. And then he got the point. Beautiful work. Mas foi um 